I'm in Thailand for the specific purpose of looking at trees, in particular Aquilera trees, and to find out how the wood oil is manufactured or produced. Well, the Aquilera tree is, uh, has many facets about it. I suppose and if, you're, if you were tapping a rubber tree, for instance, you just get the rubber and the latex out of it and that's it. And here you have many parts of it. You can inject the bacteria and extract the resin. And resin, you can get the oil and the wood itself. You can make incense and you can, you know, fragrance the house. It can be used um, as an object of art. <laughs> this is really quite beautiful on its own. So I think there's a lot to this tree that we hadn't realized before. I like the soil to oil to use story. Um, I think it's important as any enterprise uh, to be able to show that we can be commercial or commercially viable. At the same time, not harm or take away so much from our communities or the earth. So the fact that there is a concerted effort to put back, whether to the community, or to put back uh, to the land, um, that conscious effort is to be commended upon. Well, as an entrepreneur myself, uh, I'm looking at creating any sort of um, enterprise that has good social impact, as well as good bottom line impact or commercial impact. So to see that there is an end-to-end -end process with um, Asia Plantation Capital, the way they thought out their revenue sources, the way they thought out their plans in terms of contributing back to their staff and their community, um, and the sort of um, uh, structure that they've built about it is very fascinating uh, in, a, in a business aspect. I can see that they're making an effort um, in ensuring that their staff uh, are looked after and that they have means to look after themselves above and beyond their jobs at ABC. And I understand that ABC is doing, uh, helping um, educate the children and the communities and all that. I'd like to see more of that from ABC um, and to be able to be kept abreast in terms of the, the social enterprise and the sort of community outreach that they do. I had the opportunity to go to the boutique in Singapore and I was blown away by the, the impact of the aroma. It's very strongly scented, you know, you just need a little bit. And I'm very impressed that they can boast of their own. I remember going to the shop and seeing there's a little plaque up there that says APC Asia Plantation Capital. It's like, wow, how is that possible? And then obviously when I got to know more about the company and then I understood that Fragrance Dubois can claim or proudly claim that we know where our oil comes from uh, and then it's all sourced directly from that. So it's very impressive uh, as a retail outlet uh, and obviously as a fragrance in itself, it is, for lack of a better word, very perfumed. <laughs> I think investors would or should consider uh, APC as an alternative to the usual stocks and numbers and bonds that they buy. You know, there's um, you can see the trees, you can see the agriculture, you can see uh, something that you're investing in is much more tangible. In my trip, I've seen the investors uh, come and they're shown the company and they're shown the product they're investing in. Here, here are the trees, here are the people, here's the, the product that we harvest. This is the fragrance outlet. Um, it's wonderful as an investor to be able to be a part of the process. And of course the returns are high. I think that ultimately would be the, the pivotal point of consideration for any investor.